Now, a one boiler system using this concept of pumping away. This is kind of neat because we're going to put everything on the supply side and there's nothing that I've invented here. This is all just just classic piping that's done on the on the on the big, you know, the big stuff, the engineering stuff. We're just going to make it work on a smaller job too. First of all, we're going to have a one drain valve that's going to be the purge valve for the whole system. No matter how many circuits you've got, that's going to be the purge valve for the whole thing. And there we got a service valve that we're going to use with the purge valve. We're going to purge through the top of the boiler, not through the bottom. Over here we got the air separator and the air vent, and there's our compression tank. And we're going to bring in the fill valve at the point of no pressure change. So that will never be affected by the circulator. It will never be able to feed once when the circulator comes on, giving us an undersized compression tank. Out of here, in this case, we're using two circulators. We've got two flow control valves, which stop gravity circulation on the circulator that's off, and two more service valves. So by closing these three valves, I'm able to get at anything that's in between without having to drain the system, without having to go upstairs. That's nice. When I first start up, I shut these two valves over here. I shut this valve over here. I open the fill valve. Now the water goes this way, so I open one of these valves. It fills the system. The water comes back. It fills the boiler, and it comes out of the drain. And then I close this valve, and I open the second zone. And the water then shifts to this way, fills up here, comes through the already filled boiler, and when it's running air free, I shut off the fill valve, I open all the valves, I start it up, and now that I'm pumping away, these circulators are going to send their full discharge pressure, their full differential pressure, out toward the system, which is going to take these little bubbles that are trapped out there, it's going to crush them and sweep them back, they're too small to get stuck, and they're going to come right out and get spit out of the air separator. If you pump away like this, I guarantee you, you will never again bleed a radiator. You won't have to go upstairs. And that's kind of nice, because, you know, if you're an installer, the last thing you're doing is up there trying to move furniture or move fish tanks or brake fronts to get at a radiator. Uh, this is the time when you're touching white rugs and white walls, and the people have the final payment. They don't want to pay you because you just messed up their house. So isn't it nice if you could do all that from the basement? Here's the same idea using zone valves instead of multiple circulators. So we got one circulator and zone valves, but again, everything is positioned between these valves for service down the basement. Standing up, pumping away, is pumping away from the compression tank, not from the boiler. So it's kind of nice. You're using less equipment here. You're getting much quieter systems that don't air bind, that are easily serviced. Very, very nice way to go.